Hello everyone and welcome to the another video of Cap Record Tech Tuesday. In today's session, we'll talk about version control and version comparison on ACC. So before moving ahead to the topic, let's talk about who we are. So we are Cap Record Technologies and Arkans company. We are here as a technology service provider from past 40 years. As we know, Autodesk Construction Cloud or ACC is broadly divided in three major parts. One is Autodesk BIM Collaborate Pro for the design phase of project, Autodesk Takeoff for the pre-construction phase of project, and Autodesk Build for the construction phase of project. Apart from that, we have Autodesk Docs, Insight, and Administration. In Autodesk Docs, we have common data environment, drawings, issues, and uh, etc. In Insight, we have dashboards, reports, construction IQ, data connector, etc. And in administration, we have user management or Autodesk ID and project administration. <clears throat> so our today's topic is version control and version comparison on ACC. So uh, what is version? So version is a, a renewed file of uh, any file when we copy a new file in a project. The another one is known as a version. So version control and file comparison tools help users in the projects to monitor changes made on the file and compare them. <clears throat> file with the latest version automatically be updated as a current file in the platform of ACC. So uh, we don't have to switch it back again on the previous and on the new version. Version comparison helps in tracking down changes made on the current version and past versions of the uh, same file. So let's, this is a slideshow of any ER, uh, RVT drawing. So we have written here as a version seven, as on this, from this drop down, we can control the version. We can select version one, version two, and from this, top right corner, we can compare between the different versions, different two versions, like version one and version seven can be compared, version two and version seven can be compared. We can, cannot compare all the versions here, but we can compare two versions of any file. So the files which are supported for versions are 2D files, RVT 2D files, TWG files, PDF files can be uh, compared. <clears throat> In 3D files, we have RVT, DWG, DXF 3D files, IFC, NWD, and F3D files are compared here. New version can only be created for files with same nomenclature. Uh, we'll talk about this uh, again on the platform. So version can be compared for the same file and for the same view. For example, if we are comparing a 2D file, uh, then we cannot compare a 2D file with a 3D file of the same uh, file format, but we can compare 2D file with a 2D file and 3D files with a 3D files. Now let's move to the platform. So here we have as we know, we can go to the acc.autodesk.com uh, website where we can have our project list. Right now, I'm in my project. From that, we have our uh, product selector from here. We will choose docs and in docs, we'll go directly to the files where we have all our files. We can search our file on the search section or if we know where our file is, we can directly go to the file section. So here I'm moving to my folder where I already have the files. So I'll choose this file because here I have seven versions. It can be seen here on the version list. I'll just click it and open this file. <clears throat> when our file is open, as I already uh, told you that we can see a drop down for the versions here. So from this, by clicking this drop down, I can, we can see all the versions here by whom it was uploaded and when it was uploaded. And <clears throat> we can 
switch between any of the versions. We can go to the version one and a message will pop up here as it is a not current version. It is a not current used version in the file. We can simply move to the seventh version, which is a current version for our reference right now. And from the top right corner, we have a compare tool here. In compare tool, when we click on the compare tool, we'll get a version seven here, 3D default. We'll choose like, uh, I'll choose a version one to have a broadly changes, to monitor the broadly changes here. We have to choose 3D here. And now we will compare this files. While our comparing is uh, initiating, we'll wait for this and then we'll get a compare file here. Now, here we'll get a pop-up message here where it is showing that zero <clears throat> elements are added here. 137 elements are removed and 1000, uh, 13,826 elements are modified. This is not a huge uh, topic for discussion because here we will change a simple uh, like a door with the same uh, type of door if we change a single thing on all the doors then it will be counted here as a modified which is not a very big issue we will we can select our disciplines affected here we can use our architecture changes we can use structure changes we can uh, uh, between electrical changes piping changes uh, mechanical changes or any miscellaneous changes if there our modification uh, types will be height shape changes we can filter it between all these things now if we want to right now it is a same file where all the yellow parts are showing as a modified part <clears throat> now we will have a two type of uh, comparison here one is overlay and another one is side by side in overlay we have a single drawing here on which all previous files and a new new version file can be seen here and now if i'll choose side by side comparison in side by side comparison as you can see right now it is a version 1 file and it is a version 7 file we can simply track down the changes in this our uh, uh, rvt files that what are the changes we have two models here which is the same model but with the changes modified here so by this we can uh, compare between the files we can control the version for controlling the version for example right now it is a version 7 if i'll go here we have to just simply click the version attribute here we will get all the versions here by using these three dots in the uh, version where the version one or version two is written we'll just click it we'll make it as a make current version then the previous now they will say a copy of v1 will be restored as the current version so we'll just click restore and now our version one will be come as a current version now whenever we will use this file whenever we will open this file we'll get the version one here we can again switch back to version 7 or any other part here. So that's it for the today's session. We'll meet on the next another session on the next Tuesday. Thank you and have a nice day.